Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your muse Tracy. I am your favorite manifestation coach and I am here to inspire you and empower you to live the life of your dreams, to create on purpose exactly what you want in all areas of your life, to stop settling and to stop suffering. You are not here to suffer. If that sounds good to you, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and I'm now offering group coaching to help you transform and revolutionize your life in all areas. So you guys, I have a new program that I am launching very soon. Since my one-on-one -on -one coaching program is full and there's a wait list, I've developed a group coaching program to teach you the steps you need to learn everything I'm teaching in my one-on-one -on -one program. This will be an eight week group coaching program with a group mastermind community platform where you can interact with the other people participating in the group coaching, uh, an area where you can share the experiences and the wins as well as ask questions if you want to, um, as well as live coaching with me throughout the week. <clears throat> we will take a deep dive into your belief system in this group coaching and do the work to change the programming so that this will be the last coaching that you need right? I don't want you guys in coaching forever. You don't need to have a coach forever. You need a little bit of coaching, a little bit of direction, and then you're off because you're already a master manifester. You're just learning in this coaching program how to <clears throat> do it in a way where you actually get exactly what you want, have more of your desires showing up. All right, so I don't want this intro to be too, too long. So and also I am still um, working on <laughs> putting out the um, information. So I'll be releasing more information about the program as I get closer to starting, as we get closer to starting. Um, but by the end of the eight weeks, you will understand effortless manifesting and you will have gone through the process to clear the blocks and limitations holding you back. If you're interested in learning more, uh, you can leave me a comment down below or send me an email. And again, stay tuned. I will be putting out more and more information. It's probably going to start in like two to three weeks, I'm guessing. But again, all of those details are still being worked out. And this is just like the first announcement. <laughs> so super excited about it, you guys. I My passion is to help as many people as possible. And I am realizing that with one-on-one -on -one coaching, there is a, <laughs> there's a very quickly a ceiling to that on how many people I can actually reach and help. So we are, I am going to create this group coaching program um, so that you, it's still super effective because again, that's my purpose, super effective. Um, of course, you have to do the work. I can't do your sit-ups and your crunches for you, but I can um, direct you. I can still direct you and sort of give you some hold hand, hand holding in this way so that you know exactly what you need to do to master manifesting, okay? That's really the point. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's get into the video for today. I'm super excited about this. I've, I don't think I've ever actually talked about this lecture um, by Neville. Um, I know that it's kind of widely talked about on YouTube. So, of course, this is sort of my take on this lecture by Neville about buying the pearl of great price. Okay, amazing lecture, you guys. And I'm super excited to talk about it because... This is one of the things that is fundamental. It is fundamental, okay? This is what I consider to be one of the two pillars for mastering manifesting, which is understanding everything is responding to you. Everything is your creation. Everything, 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 <laughs> everything, right? And, and this takes retraining your mind, okay? This isn't like a one-time decision. It is a decision, I'll tell you that, but it's not usually a one-time decision. It usually takes some training and it takes a transition period um, to completely change and rewrite the old belief system, the old belief system that says, well, life is just happening to me. Life just goes on and I have to adjust myself to it. No, none of that is true. That's the old belief system. So this is one of the 
one of the two pillars, in my opinion, in my the way I teach things, the way I understand things, the way I implement things for myself, this is like huge. You need to understand that everything is you. Everything is responding to you. Everything is selected by you. I didn't say created because creation is finished. You're selecting the portions of reality through your consciousness that you choose to experience, choosing consciously or unconsciously, right? Even if you don't know you're doing it, you're still doing it. <laughs> um, the other pillar, of course, is changing the programming. That's the other sort of core aspect to mastering, you know, conscious creation or conscious manifesting. Um, so yes, what I'm talking about in this video, I just want to clarify, it's a lecture. I'm going to talk about excerpts from a lecture by Neville, okay? And I do understand that the Pearl of Great Price is actually mentioned in the Bible. I'm not necessarily uh, referencing that. I'm referencing the lecture um, that Neville has about the Pearl of Great Price, which was mentioned in the Bible. Okay, just for clarity's sake. Um, so I'm going to read a couple excerpts. If if you want, I, I recommend, you know, you can do a Google search and you can find the entire lecture by Neville if you're interested. I just have some key pieces, right? The key pieces that I wanted to pick out and mention in this video for the purpose of helping you to integrate this for yourself so that, again, you can become the master manifester that you're meant to be, the conscious creator that you're meant to be. Okay, so let's talk about the lecture, and um, I'm going to start with a few excerpts. So this is the first excerpt. Everyone in the world is using this one power, but they don't know it. So he's trying to bring us to the knowledge of this power and the wise use of it. It's called, as we first quoted it, it's called the great pearl, sorry, the pearl of great price. So great is the this pearl so valuable it takes everything you own to buy it now you don't go and liquidate your stocks and bonds you don't sell your homes you don't sell anything in the world of caesar but it takes everything that you now believe in other than it everything you believe in other than it to pay for it you believe in astrology you have to sell it. You believe in numerology, in teacup leaves, in numerology, and all these things. He repeats that twice. No matter what you believe in as a power to control you, you've got to sell it. It takes the belief, all these beliefs, and you've got to sell them. No one will buy them from you, but you give them up as valueless. Therefore, there's no price attached, no value whatsoever, but you can't hold on to one thing you now believe in as a power that controls your life and still hope to buy the pearl of great price. Okay, you guys, so this is why I love this lecture. You cannot hold on to some backup plan in your mind that... There may be fate creating your reality. There may be someone else with free will creating your reality. There may be divine timing creating your reality. There may be something more meant for you creating your reality. Whatever it is, right? I could go on and on and on and on and on listing. You cannot keep believing in these things and powerfully and consciously and on purpose create your reality. You just cannot. You know, and I know some of you have a struggle with this. I don't know why. You have nothing to lose by giving up your old belief system and going all in on the belief system that everything is responding to me. Now, when I say I don't know why I'm not trying to be hard on you, it was hard for me too, but it takes this like leap of faith. You have to be willing to go all in on this new belief system. You have to be willing to go all in. That's exactly what he's saying in this lecture. You cannot go halfway. You cannot keep one or two things, you know, in your belief system that you think maybe are responsible for creating your reality. 
You just can't. You can't keep those and buy the pearl. And I think he, hopefully I have some <laughs> excerpts to explain what, what exactly the pearl is, but the pearl is basically your power to create exactly what you want. Right. So if you sort of keep yourself half in that belief system and half in the other belief system that life is just happening to me and I'll see it when I believe it, then you're you don't get the power of the pearl. You don't get the power to create your reality fully. You might squeak out a little creation here and there and here and there. But the big stuff, the stuff you really want is going to stay elusive from you. It's going to stay out of reach because why is that because the things we want more it's not because they're more difficult and it's not even like oh because you didn't go all in you don't get to have the big things it's not even like that either it's more like the big things if we have another thing that we're keeping in our belief system that we think is creating when we're trying for the bigger things the things that we really care about we don't know our power. We have not sold all of those things, as Neville says in this lecture. We haven't given them up as valueless. <laughs> we haven't surrendered them. We haven't completely given them up. And so when we're going for the bigger things, the things that we really want, like a relationship, like a specific person, like, I don't know, maybe a career, maybe a, a house, Whatever a bigger thing for you is, for some people it's a specific person, for some people it's money, whatever the bigger thing is for you. If you haven't given up these things that you are still holding on to as maybe creating some of your reality, then when you go for the big things, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You are going to, because you haven't fully gone in on your, you are the only one responsible, you haven't fully gone in on that. So. The bigger things, guess what comes in? Doubt, fear, what ifs, oh no, I can't do it. I don't see anything, maybe it's not happening. Oh, I really don't believe this, I'll believe, I need to see it now, right? And all these things start to get in the way. This is, this is really the only reason why you don't see the big things when you don't buy the pearl. Again, it's not because you're being punished. It's not because, uh, you know, something is holding it. It's still going on inside of you. These fears, these doubts, these worries, these other concepts get in the way. It creates resistance. Then when you have worry and doubt, then what comes next? Need. I need to see it. I need to see it. I need to see it. What is need? Need is a whole big, like, ball of resistance. Okay. Back to the excerpts. Let's see the next part that I have here. Okay, right, I read that part. Okay, where did I leave off? There we go, okay, I found it. And here he defines it, that he is the only way in the world to everything in this world that you and I seek. And it takes everything that we own as to beliefs that we think are powers to guide our life, to pay for that pearl of great price. I'm gonna read that again, because it felt choppy, and this is super important. And here, he defines it, that he is the only way in the world to everything in this world that you and I seek. And it takes everything that we own as to beliefs that we think are powers to guide our life to pay for the pearl of great price. If you think for one moment you can hold on to one little thing in the event this doesn't work, you can't buy the pearl. And so when I buy the pearl, I go all out and live by it. And there is no other being in the world, just the pearl, and I live by it. And this pearl is your own wonderful human imagination. And he goes on, um, let's see. I already read that part, but let's read it again. Okay, <laughs> I have this in here twice. There are no mistakes, right? So I'm gonna read this again. If you think for one moment, you can hold on to one little thing in the event that this doesn't work, you can't 
buy the pearl. And so when I buy the pearl, I go all out and live by it. And there is no other being in this world, just the pearl, and I live by it. And this pearl is your own wonderful human imagination. Be ye doers of the word and not merely hearers, deceiving yourselves. Okay, so I talk about this quite often, you guys. It is not enough to know. You have to be doers, right? And and what Neville really means here is if you know that it's just your imagination that creates reality, it's not enough to just know that. You have to live by it. How do you live by it? That's a great question. How do you live by it? Well, you put everything else aside like he's talking about in this lecture. Everything else that you believe in that could be creating your reality, that could be responsible for your reality, you have to put it aside. That's being it. When doubt comes up, when you know questioning comes up, which is fine, I want to reiterate that you're not trying to get to a place where you have no doubt. And having doubt doesn't mean you're failing. It's all about what you do with the doubt, right? So if doubt comes up, if the old belief system comes up, still not a problem. (laughs) As long as you say, oh, yes, that's my old belief system. I now believe in this. And you do the work to transition and change your belief system. Again, it doesn't change like that. It's a process and it takes you deciding again and again and again when those old belief systems come up, whether this is about you being the only one creating, whether it's about anything that you want to change your belief on, you have to always be aware of the old belief coming up and changing it until it subsides. It will eventually stop coming up when the belief is fully changed. If it's still coming up, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just still in the process of changing. It's just still checking in with you. Hey, this is what we used to believe. And you look at that and you say, well, I don't believe that anymore. I'm changing to this belief system. My beliefs are a choice. This belief system resonates with me more, right? Okay, let's go on and read a few more. I have a couple more excerpts here. When I buy the pearl of great price, there is no other pearl like it. I sell all in this world to buy it. I sell all beliefs in powers other than my own wonderful human imagination. And everyone, because he has imagination and everyone can imagine and everyone can believe in the reality of his imaginal act, is free. It sets a man free. So this is really the key to getting results from your techniques, right? So this is my commentary. This isn't an excerpt. (laughs) This is the key, you guys. I know some people come to me and you are, you know, wondering, or even in the comments of the video, Tracy, I've been affirming for years and years. I've been doing inner conversations. I've been acting as if whatever your techniques are, right? Imagining inner conversations, scripting, affirming, whatever you like to do for a technique. Um, This is the key to getting them to work, right? Is you have to remove all other causes. You have to remove all the beliefs in any other cause other than your own imagination or your own assumptions. What does this do? This allows you to have faith. This allows you to know that it's done. There's nothing else for you to do. You don't have to put power, you know, you you do not put power outside of yourself or in anything else to bring it about. When you buy this pearl, as Neville calls it, as he's referring to, because you sell all the other, that's how you can buy it, remember? You have to sell or give away. (laughs) No one wants to buy them. The beliefs in all of their powers. You have to give them away in order to buy the pearl. What's the pearl? The belief in your own imagination, your own assumptions, right? And so when you buy this pearl, there's nothing else for you to do other than trust your imagination, have faith in your imagination, have faith in your assumptions, right? You're not putting power outside of yourself in other things that then leads for you to doubt and worry and um, 
need, the evidence, right? All of the belief and all these other things is what creates the block. So give away those beliefs, just give them up. And when you give them up, now you're able to buy the pearl, right? Because this manifesting, this whole thing about manifesting, about consciously creating your reality, it's all about you. It's by you, for you, with you. It's all you. No one can resist you unless you think they are. No one can oppose you unless you think they are. No one can create in your reality unless you think they are. But also, you thinking that creates an illusion, right? That's not actually what's happening. You're just giving your power away to something that you've already created and thinking, oops, that's someone else doing it. No, that's never what's happening. That's you doing it. <laughs> this is sort of one of the mechanisms of your mind. It creates uh, this illusion, this projection of your, your beliefs out onto people and things and circumstances. That's how you can be triggered anyway, you guys. I've talked about this in other videos. So it's never the person, the situation, the circumstance that is triggering you. It's inside of you, right? It's inside of you. So what's going on in you? What is the belief inside of you that is causing this thing seemingly separate from you, but actually not separate from you, that's being projected out, that's causing you to feel a way about your own concept. See how silly it all is, right? And so this is why, this is why this is such a core fundamental piece of mastering manifesting. You really try to start to look through a different lens. And I want to really say it, I'm saying it in this way very purposefully, because it takes practice. It takes practice to see other people as, um, see other people, see circumstances, to see everything as your creation. And again, I'm using the term creation as, in other words, you're selecting that portion of reality. You're just selecting that portion of reality. There's infinite parallel realities, infinite versions of people. So you're just selecting the versions, but that's you doing it. There's all the other versions available too that you could be experiencing. So you're training yourself to look through the lens of, oh, okay, I'm experiencing this thing that I don't love, but I'm not bound to experience this thing that I don't love. Why? Why am I not bound to experience this thing that I don't love? Because it's my creation. Okay, so I see that I've created something. All right, uh, I'm going to choose again. So inside of your mind, inside of your consciousness, you make a new choice. You first recognize that's your creation because everything is, and then you make a new choice. You make a new assumption. And because you bought the pearl of great price, you know that there are no other things creating in your reality, you can move forward with your new assumption, regardless of what's in your 3D reality, right? We're not needing 3D reality to change. The change within your consciousness is enough. Recognizing that whatever was showing up is your creation, you go within and choose again. You don't need it to change right now. You don't need to see it right now. Why? Because you bought the pearl a great price. You already know that it will. You already know that it will. And so when you know that it will, when you know that it will, you don't need it right now. You don't need to see it right now. That need to see it right now comes from doubt, comes from not understanding, not trusting, not having faith, having maybe a little bit of belief in something else creating in your reality. So we, again, like the lecture says, give all of that up, sell it. You can try to sell it. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to buy it from you. So you give it up as valueless, right? You just give it up. So what? So then you can have the pearl. The pearl is your ability to create with confidence, without fear, without worry, without doubt, without need, 
that's really what the pearl is. All right, let's see. So wrapping this up, yes, I was saying it's all in you and it's all up to you. No one can resist you. No one can oppose you. No one can doom you. No one can curse you. Seriously, no one can do that. No one can create in your reality. It's just you. It's just you creating. So then there is no reason to doubt, no, wor no reason to even worry. You can walk in faith knowing that it is all done because you have bought the pearl and you only believe in the one source that bring thing brings things into your reality and that is your, as Neville calls it, wonderful human imagination, your assumptions. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. Such a good topic. I love this lecture by Neville. Again, if you're interested in the full lecture, you can Google it and probably uh, find it for free so that you can read the entire lecture. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.